There's a ton of great spots to speed up completing exotic weapon catalysts, which not only adds the ability to generate orbs on multi kills, but mostly increases the potency of the exotic weapon too. I'm going to cover all the best places you can use as a solo player to help finish off your exotic catalyst right here in this quick guide. Before we go any further though, please check that you've subscribed if you do like any of my videos. Shurochi is arguably the most popular and well known. Simply enter the last wish raid in the Dreaming City and go to the wish wall. Now enter this code on the wall by shooting the panels and step on the central platform to jump to the Shurochi checkpoint. Just start the encounter and defeat all the Shadow Thrall enemies with your exotic weapon. Then simply wipe, rinse and repeat until you've completed the catalyst. You can use rally banners for ammo here and even using a tether hunter can speed up the first part somewhat but it isn't absolutely required. Staying in the Dreaming City, the Thrallway is the next best. This spot is accessed via the Shattered Throne Dungeon and is easy to get to. Complete the first puzzle encounter by following the symbols around and defeating enemies. This map guide shown here will help you if you get stuck on where to go. Move through the next section and the jumping puzzle before you get to the start of the Thrallway. Waves of Shadow Thrall do spawn here, so just hunker down in a corner and shoot away until you finish your exotic catalyst. Alternatively, there's another spot further into the dungeon which is just as good if not a little bit better due to the density of enemies that spawn in, but it's just before the final boss so it may be a bit out of reach for someone without a fire team. Otherwise check LFG sites or clanmates for a checkpoint to help you out here. Sorrow's Harbour on the moon is another great spot, simply requiring you to load in and start shooting. You'll be competing with other players more often than not, but it's definitely a solid option with minimal effort to set up. However, there's a brand spanking new solo farm within the Grasp of Avarice dungeon and it's arguably the best and most efficient yet. If you've got the 30th anniversary pack, simply load up the dungeon at the opening loot cave encounter. Hive will spawn indefinitely here making it a perfect spot to slay out. There's minimal setup and if you wipe or accidentally complete the encounter, you can reset at the start in no time to continue completing your catalysts. With the Witch Queen being right around the corner, there's no better time than now to complete any of your exotic catalysts, whether it's the new Aga's Scepter or the Darcy, the one that you've never done since year one. If you're mad keen on being ready for the Witch Queen or want to be leveled up enough to try out the newest day one raid experience, then this quick bounty hoarding guide is just for you.